Welcome in everybody to part two of how to unlock this Lamat skin called the last resort on Hunt Showdown. My name is Just Nems, and I'm going to be showing you the second half of Stillwater Bayou, which is the following eight missions here on top of what we did in part one. We're going to be going step by step of how to get free start on each mission along our way. There'll be timestamps down below. Feel free to go down and click on them if there's only a certain mission that you are looking to complete. Let's go straight into it. The first trial that we're going to be looking at today is going to be our first time trial selection. It's not a particularly bad one as long as you know where to put the choke bombs as you're running around. Pretty straightforward. If you want to one star this mission, you're going to want to complete all the checkpoints. You get nine seconds between each checkpoint along your way, but you're also allowed to skip five of them. If you're going to two star this mission, you have to do everything above, but you also have to avoid bleeding damage because there's bear traps on the floor, but you're allowed to miss two chip. If you want to free star this mission, you have to do everything above. You have to avoid fire damage. You also have to kill six emulators and you can't miss any checkpoints along your way. If you watch the video when I do it, I'm going to be putting choke bombs in certain areas. As long as you put them roughly in the same spots as me, you're going to be okay at doing this. Go see it. As soon as you start this trial, what you're going to want to do is turn around and throw a choke bomb just next to this red barrel there. As you start going down the stairs, look out for the bear traps at the bottom of the stairs. Someone on your left just there. What I tend to do when I go into this room, I pick up this one. And before I get the second one, I will just punch this emulator once and then go back and grab it. That's the last emulator, which is going to be downstairs. So you've got plenty of time. There's one bird trap just here next to the curtain that you can just walk around. Stick to the left side as you jump past this crate. And you want to go to the right because there's three bird traps right there. Stick to the left hand side as you're going up this ramp and there'll be one emulator right at the top. A little bit like what we did earlier. I'm going to try and aggro him and give him a punch before I walk backwards into that trial checkpoint. Bear trap as soon as you get this. Don't worry about that emulator. You can just run and this choke bomb will take care of it. There will be bear trap next to this tree, so just be careful of it. Your second choke you want to put at the entrance way that you're running towards. That choke bomb will deal with the rest of the emulators at the side to chase you, so that's fine. Take your time climbing up and going down. Watching out for all the bear traps along your way. You've got one choke bomb left. I'll show you exactly where you're going to want to throw that. Being a little bit quick because it is a time trial after all. I tend to just throw it just past these group of bear traps. If any emulators decide to chase us. Because the, bear, the, the choke bomb will take care of any of the other emulators. You can hear them all getting triggered now and probably slowly dying to those choke bombs. There should be an emulator around here, but he might have already killed himself, so watch out as you're running down here because of the bear traps. There'll be one final bear trap next to where you started, and that'll be it. Very easy mission to do, as long as you know where to throw the bear traps. You might have to do it a few times till you learn where to throw the choke bombs, but that's it. Trial number 10 is going to be another time trial mission. The idea to complete this one is to pick up lanterns as you're running around the map. And setting the concertinas on fire if you want to one star this mission you have to complete all the checkpoints you've got 12 seconds between each checkpoint but you're also allowed to miss five of them if you want a two star this mission it's all of the above but you also have to avoid any bleeding damage and you're also allowed to miss two checkpoints if you want to free star this you have to avoid any damage at all including falling damage you have to kill 10 concertina armors and you can't miss a single checkpoint on this video, I'll show you how I do it step by step and how, when and how I kill each armored because some of them you'll be shooting flares at, some of, them, some of them you'll be throwing lanterns into. So if you watch this video, I'll show you step by step of how I complete. What I tend to do at the beginning of this mission is turn around straight away and I shoot this armored just here because he tends to get in your way right at the end of the mission. He'll try and flank you. Utilizing all the lanterns on our way around, we're going to burn our second armor, picking up the lantern right next to us. There'll be an armor just below here, you want to get rid of him now. As we're still running around, picking up the lanterns. 
There's some that we'll have to use the flare gun to get rid of, but I'll show you them when we get there. This one can be annoying because he spawns quite close to where the next checkpoint is. But if you picked up one of those lanterns early, you should be able to get rid of him. Your second flare shot is going to be on this one on the other side of the fence. You can take your time and reload. There'll be a lantern right on top of these planks of wood here, so feel free to pick that up. Careful on this drop down part because you can take a little bit of fall damage which will cancel the free star completion. Don't worry about the timer when you're running across the water. It's going to get pretty slim, but you should just be able to make it. Picking up the lantern, which is also next to that checkpoint. This lantern you're going to want to throw over on top of this walkway because there'll be an armament up there. Picking up the second lantern. This lantern you want to throw on the one next to this checkpoint. Picking up the lantern next to it to get rid of this bad boy. If he walks into it. Now we're going to want to climb upwards. Don't worry about any of the lanterns that you find along your way now because you're going to be climbing up. You don't want to take falling damage here. So what you can jump down onto a little plank. But what I do is quickly spin around and you can jump nicely down onto these containers. So you don't get any fall damage. Where we are now, would have, you would have to fight that armored, which we've already taken care of. Before I go through this door, I tend to pick up this lantern. On your left hand side here, there'll be one or two armoreds, depending on the spawn. It might also be one when you go through this door, that's where I'm going to save my last flare gun. There he is, get rid of him. This last part now, you can always pick up a lantern just in case, because there'll be one directly to your side here, but I am just going to run. Avoiding all that we can. gonna get a little bit much now with them all chasing you which is why i picked up that lantern just in case on top of the boat on our left hand side now would have been where that armored is that we took care of right at the beginning but we already got rid of him and there's your free stuff trial number 11 is going to be a sniping mission there's nothing particularly hard about this one there's no special things that you need to do to complete it apart from headshot grunts whatever else spawns along the map so in order to one star this You've got a time limit of two minutes and you need to headshot eight enemies. If you want to two star this, you've got to headshot 15 enemies. And to three star this, you need to headshot 25 enemies. Even the hard one also includes the two minute timer. So you've got plenty of time to go around and shoot the enemy. Okay, sniping pretty straightforward. 25 headshots, two minutes time. Let's go. Wait for them to spawn in. Come on, there's one. Tend not to worry about the dogs so much. Always check to the left as well. They'll spawn all around you, so you can always go from one spawn point to the next. to get out the scope but it's fine i'm gonna go back to this spawn point now big pack of dogs there reload big group of grunts Fine. I'm gonna move to the next spawn. We got a big group of grunts there. One standing still there. I'm gonna take care of him. Kiki hive. That was a kill, not a headshot. Five left, 25 seconds. Quickly reload. We've got a big group of grunts there. And take care of the dog. No, they didn't kill him. Might have just wasted the That was very close, okay? But 
it's just a headshot. I missed the one on the dog. That was my own fault. We could have done a little bit better there. But free star. There's no other conditions. It's just 25 headshots. So I'm going to keep that. Trial number 12 is our favorite combination of emulators and hellhounds. One of the most annoying things about this one is when the hellhounds decide to bite the emulators, set anyone on fire, and you fail the mission. But another good side to this mission is that the emulators will spawn in the same places for me as what they would for you. So as long as you follow my route, you'll be able to complete this in no time. If you want to one star this mission, you want to kill and banish four emulators in a time span of five minutes. If you want to go for that two star, you want to kill and banish eight emulators, but you also have to avoid any fire damage. But if you want to three star this mission, on top of everything above, you also need to kill 10 hellhounds with fire. That's not so bad. There's yellow barrels around that you can shoot on your way. If you just follow this video step by step, you should guys, you should be able to complete this instead. Okay, let's pull the knuckle dusters out. Our first emulator is going to be behind the main barn here. I know a lot of the people that I've shown how to do trials do struggle with this one, but the emulators will spawn in the same places every time. It's the dogs you need to keep an eye out for. I tend to keep these double gates here closed just to help pull in the, the dogs for later on. The second emulator is going to be next to these double doors up here. Sometimes they'll be open, sometimes they'll be closed. Before I banish this one, what I tend to do is pop some of these yellow barrels. And then I'll banish on the way past. Third emulator should be next to the staircase just here. It's actually gone back a bit, but we'll, we'll still be able to deal with it. Let these dogs set themselves on fire as we deal with this emulator. When I jump down, I tend to shoot these barrels in case any dogs decide to chase us. And this lantern, because if they get past the barrel, they're not going to get past that lantern. Going into the underground for the first time. There's sometimes one dog with... Yep, it is. Kind of dodge the dog a little bit so he doesn't set the emulator on fire going to close the door behind the dog because I'm not that bothered about it. Our next emulator is going to be in front of the main house here. He has moved to the side a little bit but we're going to deal with that. Shooting some more of the yellow barrels in case any of the dogs decide to chase us. Don't worry too much about the bleeding. Make sure you stop it on your way past. Kind of knew that was going to happen. Next emulator will be just here where you set the fire earlier. You can get rid of him. I know I'm bleeding. Don't worry about it. All the dogs will be slowly burning themselves over there. That's why I'm not too bothered about the bleeding right now. Your next emulator is going to be downstairs. This one can be annoying because quite a few dogs could have spawned down here by now. Like this one. Nice little tip to do when you get to this corner, this lantern, turn it off because if a dog decides to bite it, you're going to fail the mission. On my way out, that's when I start shooting the yellow barrels. If any dogs chase you, they should get taken care of with the yellow barrels. We've got two minutes left on one more emulator. Remember, these emulators will spawn in the same places every time. After I get rid of this emulator... If you still need to burn dogs, what I tend to do... Is I climb up here and just set these two yellow barrels on fire. Any dogs that will decide to run towards your direction... Like this one here, will slowly run into the fire and take care of him. Trial 13 is another sniping mission. Like the one previously where we had to headshot emulators, this is the same thing. But this time, there's water everywhere, so as long as you wait for the emulator to step inside the water, he's not going to explode when you shoot him. That way you can shoot him once, let him run around a little bit, and then pop him in the head to finish him off. If you want to one-star this mission, you have to kill 10 enemies within the time span of 4 minutes. That's not including headshots. 
If you want to two-star this mission, now you have to headshot 15 enemies and kill two emulators. That's where the water comes in handy with the emulators. If you want to three-star this mission, you have to headshot 20 enemies, you have to headshot two emulators, but nobody is allowed to die to fire damage. Which isn't so bad because in this way we're going to plan to chew the emulators in the water, therefore they don't set any fire around for the grunts to walk into. Let's take a Okay, so let's spot where they're going to spawn. We've got grunt down here. Oh. Emulator, we're not going to deal with you yet. Got a hive over here. Get rid of you, that didn't kill you, that's fine. That one did. Emulator, he's not quite in the water yet. Apparently a grunt over, oh it's a hive. It's just aggro, so she looks at us. Or not. Get your head from underneath your arm, that's fine. Are you in the water now? Yep, right, you're in the water. Oh, apparently you're not. That's fine, that's fine. <coughs> Terrible shooting. Oh, wow. I am not doing well right now. Very slow reload. Come on, here we go. Was that not the... Okay. We got the headshot. That's all that matters. Alright, you're not in the... Oh, you are in the water, so we can trigger you. You're not gonna blow up anywhere. Alright, that simulator's died. Died? Dead? Dead it did. You've got a lantern, I'm not gonna shoot you. A torch, sorry. Let me reload. Right, 13 headshots. Take our time and fully reload. No rush on this one, got plenty of time. The emulators are now dead. Oh, okay, okay. I think I'm gonna leave you for a little while. See if we can work on any of these grunts. To find the ones that aren't holding torches come on you you moved a little bit now you have seven more headshots they're all like in there like hiding from us five more headshots Minute and a half. Casually reload, we've got plenty of time. Loads of time for this mission. It's just the weapon, the reload time, like speed on the weapon is um uh, is what slows you down a lot. I think that's probably why they give you um such a big amount of time. Alright, can you turn and look at me please? Yeah. Two more headshots, we've got a minute left. Any hive spawn over there yet? No, I might just pop you anyway. Oh no, you're not on the water anymore, so I'm not. More hives have spawned here. Can you show me your head? Thank you. We've got a 50 seconds left. One more headshot. And we found you. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to do that, just so I can do this. Nice free start. Trial number 14 is going to be yet another time trial mission. This one we have to run around and kill hives as we go through all the checkpoints. There is parts of this where you will take damage from falling and you have to try and avoid that. So if you follow my videos when it gets to those certain points, you'll be able to run around this without taking all time to fall. If you want to get one star on this mission, you have to complete all checkpoints and you have to complete them all within 13 seconds of each one. You're allowed to miss five on your way around, but we're going to go for higher than If you want to do two stars on this, you're allowed to miss two checkpoints, but you also have to kill five hive on your way. If you want to free star this mission, you have to do all of the above, but you have to avoid any damage, which is where the falling damage comes into it. You have to kill ten hive, and you can't miss a single checkpoint. You don't need to headshot the hive, you just need to kill them with the crossbow as you're running around. So take a look.
what I tend to do at the right at the beginning of this trial, you have to be pretty quick with it. But pull your firebomb out and just throw it between these two hives. You can shoot this hive if you want. I tend to do it just because I, then I don't need to do it later on. But you got to make sure that you get to your first checkpoint within the 13 seconds. I'm going to reload before I pick this one up because I didn't do it on the floor. Get rid of this hive. Watch out for the falling damage. Follow and pick up some of these for now. There's one hive over there that you can always shoot. Get rid of that on your way past. Careful coming down from this little shack that we're about to climb up on top of now. There's a bit that you can jump onto on the, on the far side of it, which I'll show you now. Just this little bit here just reduces the fall damage. I recommend getting rid of that hive before you climb up the main building. Because it can aggro you as you're climbing up the building, which isn't recommended. What I do here, instead of trying to jump off the building because you'll take falling damage, is turn around and jump on top of the little toilet, and then you can easily just walk down without taking any of the fall damage. This next one here, you would think that you have to climb up. Don't worry, you don't. You just have to jump up and touch your head on it. We've already dealt with the hive, which is protecting this clue. Over, shoot this one. Carry on going. You're going to just go outside the fence here. We are about to go back inside, but what I tend to do is just look through this little gap and shoot this hive here. Reloading as you go. Don't worry about running to pick up the bolts. Only pick up the ones that, are, that you're close enough. On my way past, I'm just going to firebomb this one. Still running. That one didn't die, but it will walk into the fire, so don't worry too much about it. I mean, or worry about falling damage again on the way down, but there's a little hay barrel that you can just run straight onto here. Get rid of that hive so it doesn't aggro on us. Before you go on top of the main building, there'll be one more hive on the other side of this fence. Make sure you take care of that. Reloading as you go. We've already killed all the hives that we need to, but we're just going to pop them as we go. We're going to be going inside the building now. There's no hives inside the building, so don't worry. Just be wary of this bit, little, little bit of fall damage that you can take there. And here we are, right back at the beginning. There's some more hives in case you miss some on the way that, that tend to be around here, but... Nice and easy. Probably one of the easiest time trial ones that you can do. Trial 15 is another banishment trial. This one includes meatheads again, and you have a wind field. This one, in my opinion, is another one of the very annoying ones. Because of the meathead spawns inside the building, you have to try and avoid the leeches when it tries to poison you and damage you at the same time. And with it gives you levering on the wind field, so when you're trying to lever the meathead death and the sound that goes around you can't really hear the leeches when they get close to you or if any grunts are coming up behind you when you do this mission your meatheads are going to spawn in different places than what mine are you can get the odd very lucky run where they spawn outside the building on every spawn it's when they spawn inside that it gets annoying there is some red barrels that you can take advantage of on the outside but if they're inside, there's not much you can do apart from just hope for the best and just shoot the hell out of the meathead. But if you want to one star this mission, you have to kill and banish three meatheads and you've got a time limit of five minutes to do so. If you want a two star this mission, you have to kill and banish eight meatheads and avoid poison damage, which is where the leeches get very annoying. If you want a three star this mission, you have to do all of the above, but you have to avoid all damage altogether. Which is where it can get very annoying, especially with the leeches, the grunts, the put, the barrels, which are everywhere that you shoot. So, hopefully you guys can get with this. There's not that much I can really help you with this, because it's all going to spawn in different places. But good luck, and this is how I managed to freestyle this. Okay, Windfield began. Heavy knife and poison. So, meatheads, very annoying. Mainly because of the leeches that they have with them. That one was a very good spawn. Your spawn's going to be completely different to my spawn. 
Hopefully you guys also get a good little route. Try and bait you forward. Come on. Utilize every red barrel you can. Be careful about them triggering closer red barrels. Oh, he's back there, but there's no red barrel for us this time, so we're just going to levering him. Try not to miss. Look out for the leeches, which I could hear on my feet. It's not the meathead that you got to be careful about in this mission. It is the leeches. Make sure we're fully reloaded before we banish. Grab the ammo boxes which are scattered around. Okay, where's our next guy? Next guy, I think he's inside the building, which is another very annoying spawn. Because it's very hard to keep track of the leeches when you when you when he's inside. So we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do. We can wall bang him here. Yeah. And because of the levering, it's very hard to hear what's coming up behind you. I only just heard that leech on my feet there. And then quick, have a quick look around for these grunts. Because the sound on this is very important, especially listening out for the leeches. Where are you? Right, he's going to be out the front, but we're going to go around the back. If we can open the door. I don't think he's next to any red barrels, but we're just going to throw a poison bomb at him because why not? We can enjoy that. And we're going to levering him. And jump around a bit because of the leeches. And then back away because of his death swing. Most annoying bit about this, like I said, is the leeches. Like that leech got pretty close to me. Reload quickly and then banish. Where is he? Right, he's over there. Reloading as we run around, making sure that we're ready on a full magazine to shoot them. I think there might be a red barrel on that far side that we can utilize. Depends if he's next to it. Might not be. I don't think there is, but what I'm going to do is... Can I climb up there? I cannot. Alright. Good old levering. Get rid of you. Try and hit all of them. I can hear a leech next to my feet. Try and take him down a bit. You can go away, please. Back to shooting him. Keeping an eye on that leech, which I can see in front of me. All the grunts are starting to um, gather up now. We're going to try and chip away on them a little bit. Banish, do a scan. He's over there. I think that's next to a red barrel that we can utilize. That one behind him as well. Alright, he's dead. Give it a second in case other red barrels are going to explode. I think we're good now, so we can run in and do a quick banish. Quickly scan. He's, he's inside. Back in that very annoying spot inside. We'll see what we can do. We've got a minute to deal with this one. Grab ammo. I'm gonna close this door. Probably take our time with this guy. Just gonna run around a bit. Because I knew I could hear someone coming up behind me. I'm gonna shut this door so it reduces the grunts getting inside. out for those leeches quickly and get back to work and shooting him. Try and bait him away from the leeches. That's him banished. We've got 30 seconds left. No grunts coming behind us and banish. This one, like another previous uh, meathead one that we did, is very annoying because of the spawns that the meatheads spawn in and the fact you need to run around. You can get roots where it does not spawn inside the building at all. And that's the perfect one you want because you want to fight these guys outside. Our final trial in the Stillwater Bayou is another banishing trial. This time, it's against hives and you get an Avtomat. But that's not the key thing to complete in this mission in my opinion. You get some blank decoys, which if you can throw at red barrels, 
that's how you can kill the first set of hives and speed you along your way. In my opinion, out of all the trials that you're about to do so far, this is by far one of the easiest ones. And you should not struggle with it as long as you follow the path which I'm about to show you on this video. But first, if you want a one star this mission, you need to kill and banish three hives with a time limit of five minutes. If you're going to two star it, you need to kill and banish six hives and avoid any poison damage along your way. If you want to three star this, you need to do all of the above, but you also have to avoid any damage, including fall damage, which is the main thing that you are going to fail these missions on. Let me roll the clip and you guys can see exactly how I did it. And I know for sure that you can also do it. This right, another banishment one. We get an Avto, some blank fire decoys and ammo boxes. The best thing about this one isn't the Avto. It's the blank fire decoys. Next thing you want to do, because the hive spawns on the far side, there's a red barrel there. Explode that red barrel with your blank fire. That will explode another red barrel on that corner, killing that hive. All these hives spawn in the same place. What you want to do after you banish this, free look towards the northwest. Get ready to throw another blank fire decoy at this red barrel there, killing your second hive. Don't trigger the fire. Climb inside the build and go round it. The next hive is going to be across the way. That's when you want to bring your avto out. Ready to kill the hive from here. Once you kill the hive. I, I tend to run around so I don't take the falling damage and then climb down. Don't worry about these grunts chasing you. We can deal with them on the way around. Banish this hive. And then what we're going to do is go back the way that we just came. Trying to avoid, avoid most of the grunts on our way. They can chase us all they want. We'll get away from them in a minute. Next hive's just going to be across the way there. Outrun all these guys. Kill the hive, keep running. You can, if you want, turn around, wait for these grunts to get a bit closer and explode that red barrel. Banish our fourth hive, grab some ammo, and we're going to head inside the building. What we're going to do now is when you get to the back door, hit out the window, blast the hive. Casually open the door. You want to keep the door open. Because what you're going to do is as soon as you... You can pre-turn and look towards the main building. We've got three minutes left. Banish this hive. Look up. There's your final hive. Blitz it. you got two bullets left just to make sure. Blitz it again and banish. This one... In my opinion, with all of the trials which are currently on Hunt Showdown, this one is the easiest one to do. Don't worry about too much about the Avto in the beginning of the mission. Use your blank fire decoys. Load the barrels. Thank you all for taking your time to watch this. I hope it was helpful for those that are struggling with the trials. Feel free to leave a like and comment below. That will help me a lot. The next video that we're going to do is everything that involves in Lawson Delta. The first eight that we're going to be doing is on the top of the list. That video will be coming out shortly. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Feel free to come follow me on Twitch if you want to watch more gameplay about Hunt Showdown. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.